to be jumped this time in the 30th Hennessy Gold Cup. They're being called in, and they're away. And racing towards the first. Closely packed up front with two coppers, the grey just shading them as they come to the first, plundering right up there. Door latch also jumps with them. They're all safely over the first quick trip. The Irish Hope jumped it last. The Langham Dar is taking it up now as they come to the first of the, of the ditches. The Langham Dar in the lead now from plundering and two coppers and door latch. And behind them come Everett and Arctic Bow and Charter Party. And behind them Broad Heat in the catch pool. And then Maori Venture and Strands of Gold. Quick trip is the back marker. The Langham Dar is the leader as they come to the third. The Langham Dar lands in the lead from two coppers and plundering. Behind them, Dorlatch and Everett and Charter Party. Then Arctic Bourbon on the inside is Broad Heath, and then the Catch Pool, and then Marty Venture and Tracy Special and Strands of Gold and Quick Trip as they jump the fourth now. The Langham Dar lands clear of two coppers who jumped it second, plundering on the inside. Right up there with them is Dorlatch, and then comes Everett and Charter Party. And behind them, Broad Heath as they come to the fifth now. Langham Dar clear at the fifth. Langham Dar from two coppers. Then Plundering and Dorlatch and Everett and Broadheath. Then come Strands of Gold and Arctic Bow. Church Wardens, one of the back markers now with Quick Trip as they begin to swing left-handed and race towards the next. The Langham Dar in the lead from two coppers, Plundering, Dorlatch. Then comes Everett and Arctic Bow and Charter Party in the catch pool. Broadheath only just in behind him, and then Tracy's special. The back marker is Quick Trip with Steersby just one ahead of him, and the grey has taken it up now, two coppers from the Langham Dar as they jump the sixth. Two coppers and the Langham Dar jump it together. Door latch jumped it third. They're all still standing, plundering on the inside, then Charter Party, then the catch pool, then Arctic Bow. Behind Arctic Bow is Broad Heath and Everett, and behind Everett, Tracy Special and Strands of Gold. Quick trip, still the back marker as they turn into the straight for the first time. The Langham Dar in the lead. On the far side, on the near side, not much between them is the grey, two coppers, then plundering over on the far side, Dorlatch comes next, showing there with his white nose just in the picture as they jump the seventh. Two coppers and the Langham Dar from Dorlatch, plundering on the far side, mistake by Arctic Bow at that one, as they come down to another ditch now. This is the second of the ditches, the Langham Dar, two coppers, Dorlatch right up with them, then plundering and then Broad Heath. And then Everett, Tracy's special in the catch pool. Number nine, the Langham Dar and two coppers. From Dorlash jumps it third, plundering and broad, he's just in behind. Then comes Everett, behind Everett, the catch pool, charter party. Strands of girls, steers busy, improved a little bit. Then comes Maori Venture, then Church Warden, then Arctic Bow, and Quick Trip as they jump the next. Number ten, the Langham Dar lands in the lead from two coppers and plundering. And then comes Dorlatch and Broadheath, whose rider's has lost his cap, and then Everett, and then the catch pool, and then Charter Party, and then Strands of Gold, and behind them, Maori Venture and Steersby, and then Tracy Special and Church Warden and Arctic Bow, and Quick Trip, the back marker. They're jumping the water now, and as they jump it, the Langham Dar lands just in the lead from two coppers. Dorlatch very close in third. Catch pool four and five on the inside is Plundering and six Charter Party. Seven, eight, and nine are Arctic Bow and Maori Venture and, and uh, Steersby, and then on the inside, Strands of Gold with Broadheath, who's lost a place or two, then Tracy Special and Quick Trip and Church Warden as they go out into the country now for the last time. Ten left to jump and two coppers with the advantage from the Langham Dar. Then the catch pool on the outside of Door Latch. Just in behind them, Charter Party in six and seven is plundering. Behind them, Broad Heath and Everett and then Strands of Gold going well in the middle of the field as they jump the twelfth. And then comes Maori Venture and Steers B and Arctic Bow and Tracy Special and Church Warden and Quick Trip, just the back marker. Coming to the third of the four ditches now. Two coppers lands in the lead from Plundering on the inside. A good jump by Plundering. Langham Dar drops back to third. Door latches four, five, the catch pool. Six then is Broad Heath. Then making ground is steadily is Strands of Gold as they jump the 13th. Two coppers from on the near side Plundering. Then the Langham Dar. Then comes Broad Heath. Seven left to jump now. Still right up there in the firing line is Dorlatch with the catch pool and steers views improved and then strands of gold. Charter Party has lost quite a bit of ground now. Coming down towards the next and closely grouped up front. This is six from home. The grey, two coppers in the lead from plundering on the inside. The catch pool, the Langham Dar, just in behind them. Dorlatch 
They've got a long run now towards the next fence. They'll be swinging left-handed shortly and still a wide open race. Two coppers, the grey in the lead from plundering in second. The catch ball is third. Four showing there with his white faces. Door latch then on the inside is Broad Heath. Racing towards the next and strands of gold improving just in behind the leaders. Five from home this, two coppers from the catch pool. Plundering, door latch, broad heath. Strands of gold still improving. Mark Dwar steers be not far behind him, nor is Mari, Mari's venture. Two coppers and Dorlatch landed in the lead there. Dorlatch landed in the lead. They're racing now towards the home turn. Dorlatch being pressed again by the great two coppers and plundering going strongly on the inside. Then comes uh, then comes uh, plundering just in behind plundering. Strands of gold still improving. Arctic bow's been pulled up. They're coming down to the Final one before the last ditch. This is the fourth from home now. Door latch showing with his white face towards the near side, plundering on the far side. Two copper strands of gold is still coming there strongly. Broad Heath right in contention, coming down to the final ditch now in the 1986 Hennessy Gold Cup. Plundering over on the far side. Broad Heath cantering in the center by the look of it. Then comes two coppers and then door latch just in behind him over the final ditch. Broad Heath nearly went there. Door latch is a faller. They're coming down now to the second last. It's Broad Heath, two coppers over on the far side Mari Venture then plundering and then strands of gold Broad Heath lands fractionally in the lead from two coppers on the near side plundering on the far side strands of gold and Mark Dwyer still coming there as they come down to the final fence it's Broad Heath on the near side plundering on the far side Mari Venture coming there strongly with strands of gold at the final fence Broad Heath's gonna land in the lead it's Broad Heath from plundering then two coppers then strands of gold Broad Heath two coppers on the near side Broad Heath with the advantage two coppers plundering on the far side as they race into the final hundred yards it's Broad Heath from plundering Mari Venture putting in a tremendous run it's Broad Heath from two coppers as they race to the line Broad Heath's gonna hold him at the line Broad Heath has won in two coppers second third Mari Venture four is plundering at five strands of gold six and seven are steers beyond the catch pool and then come the Langham Da and Tracy Special and they're the only finishers and so the result of the 1986 Hennessy Cognac Gold Cup is first, number 10, Broadheath, owned by Mr. Michael Marsh, trained by David Barons, written by Paul Nichols, second, number 17, Two Coppers, owned by Mr. S. Hunt, trained by Les Kennard, and written by Brendan Powell, and third, number 6, Mari Venture, owned by Mr. Jim Joel, trained by Andy Turnell, and written by Steve Knight, fourth was number 7, Plundering,